so Jenny's key was in his locker. Why is that? And where is the key? Let us examine Miss Patterson's locker. Is there seriously a puzzle box here? The lock on this box is rather sophisticated. Incredible! Is Jenny hiding something? There's a puzzle box. Um... What does this mean? This means that... Well... I suppose we have to line everything up, right? So... Where can I put... Where the all three is? Um... Not there, not there. There works. And, uh... I guess this will have to be like there. Well, I guess that works. No, it doesn't. No, yes. No, no, no. Alright, so that has to be there. And then this has to be... This doesn't actually work, does it? Wow. I, um, I'm not sure. I guess that that there works. Uh, no. Um, I can't rotate them. Okay, so you, you, I don't think you can rotate them. Not sure though. So that goes there. But then that does that which is incorrect. But this... Okay, that we can do, and then we can do that, and we can do this. And then that, and then that, I see. I see, I see. Got it, got it. Solved. It's really very clever. Little Jenny is astonishing. Don't call her Little Jenny. What's little about her? Stop being so patronizing, stupid white man. All right. What is this? Brighton Locket. Jenny Pedersen Frank Brighton, a single heart with two souls, eternal love. Jenny and Frank. Oh, okay, so they are... They are in... Well, I mean... So the father is the director, the daughter is the secretary, and then the, the son-in-law is at the front desk. <laughs> like, it's just one, one whole one big family. It. Sealing the relation between Jenny and Warden Brighton. Decidedly, this boy is not a great poet. Service sheet. Basement guard, Warden O'Sullivan. Reception, Warden Brighton. On call in the guard room, Warden Mackenzie. Coordination chief, Warden James. There's only four people in the whole prison. Amazing. Here is the famous guard duty list. Interesting. My Jenny, let's get married. Never mind the consequences. Your father will have to accept the fact that we are in love. Think about the baby and don't forget that. I love you, 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 I love you. And I've written you a poem. <laughs> okay. Jenny Patterson, your heart pounds. Mine weighs a ton. Our love has no bounds. It just goes on and on. It was inspired by the great Chinese poets to write it. Be courageous, my honey bun, your Frankie. Uh, let's, let's put it this way. I feel sorry for Jenny. <laughs> Although, I don't know what they were doing getting pregnant. But, you know. So, Warden O'Sullivan is the basement guard. Brighton is on reception, which she, she is. Mackenzie on call, Chief Warden James coordination. A letter from Brighton to Jenny. Barely literate. Apparently, Jenny is carrying Brighton's child, and it seems that Jenny's father, the director, is unaware of this. Well, things are going to be interesting, I guess. I really don't think we should give Hans his pen. I can't imagine why that would be a good idea, but... 
Jenny, get an abortion. We have found the guard duty cards, miss. If you like, I can go and discreetly give them to the guards. Oh, thank you. You've got me out of a lot of trouble, Mr. Holmes. We have found the guard duty cards. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're not going to talk to her about her affair with the, uh, what's his name, Brighton. Like, where do you think they had sex? Because so she's pregnant. Where do you think they had sex? Do you think they had, had sex in the cloakroom? <laughs> like, where were they? In the cells? Maybe they did it in the cells. Is he dead? What was he doing? Is he asleep? I can't talk to him from here, can I? Bro? Sorry, sirs. I'm on duty. I can't help you. Right, never mind. He's on duty. The controls are a bit weird. Like, sometimes you press the buttons and he doesn't move. Uh, oh wait, do I just hand it to him? No, never mind, I don't actually have it. In my inventory. This information board is almost empty. Do I talk to these guys? Is that what I do? Sorry, Mr. Holmes, you can't go into the basement for the moment. For what reason? The door has locked itself automatically. We must enter a new security code. Do it then. Miss Patterson hasn't put up the guard duty list yet. Without that information, we don't know who's authorized to take note of the new code. So Mackenzie is locked in the high security zone. Yes, but don't worry about him. He's trained for this sort of dysfunction. Why not ask the director to take note of the code and open the door? He isn't allowed to, and I doubt that he would run the risk of going against the orders of the administration centre. Anyway, the bars in the high security section are joined to the alarm system, which is in that room. We only need to sound it to unblock, but you see, we can't do that now. We'll try to find the duty list, Warden James. We have found Chief Warden James's duty list. Good. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Let's see. O'Sullivan, it's you who takes over from Mackenzie. Take note of the code, please, and unblock the door. At once, Chief. There's four people. Like... Why, why even bother? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Could I ask you for a favour? Please do. I think I can say, on behalf of all the staff, that we would be honoured if you would care to write something in our guest book. With pleasure, O'Sullivan. Uh... That seems like a bad idea. He's gonna die. You seem worn out, O'Sullivan. A good night's sleep would do you good. A good night's sleep would do me good. You're right, Mr. Holmes. Is something worrying you? As you know, Westgate Prison will soon be demolished. And I'm spending most of my nights studying for my exam to join the police. You understand, I have to think about my future. So sleep isn't a priority at the moment. Scotland Yard is always looking for young, competent and motivated men. Would a letter of recommendation from me allow you to get some sleep? What? A letter from Mr. Sherlock Holmes? Recommending me for Scotland Yard? Are you quite serious? Completely serious, my young friend. May I use this writing paper? The one on your desk. A thousand thanks, Mr. Holmes. A thousand thanks! It is addressed to Inspector Baines, a good friend of mine. There's no need to remind you that it must be opened only by the person to whom it is addressed. Yes, of course. I'll give it to him personally. Thank you again, Mr. Holmes. Are we going to poison Inspector Baines with Hans's pen? Is that, what, is that what we're doing? What is even happening right now? We just used the pen twice. It is, it is poison in the pen, right? At your service, Mr. Holmes. What did we just do? At your service, Mr. Holmes. All right, well. Let's go downstairs, see how many people die along the way. Whoa, 
Warden Mackenzie. At your service, sir. Hello, Warden Mackenzie. Should I talk to these two guys? What if I talk to these guys? Hey, brother. Lucky for you that they caught you before I rearranged your dirty little rat's face. <laughs> what do you want? You're a friend of my brother, are you? That dirty rat. I'm gonna have his guts for garters. Why would you want his guts for garter? That's gross, bro. That's gross. What do you have to say? I'm gonna kill my brother. But before that, I'm gonna make him eat his own eyes. Just for a laugh. <laughs> Why would that make you laugh? Like, what, what, where's the humor in eating eyeballs? I don't understand. You're like, if you want to laugh, just tell a joke or something. Like, knock, knock. Oh God! All right, so he doesn't have anything else to say. What you All right, these guys are not entertaining. Do we stab Hunt with his pen? Well. Good. What do you mean goodbye? I don't I have his pen? What do you need? Very little. Just water. That's all. At least. Where is it? It was. Oh, Let's okay. See. I have to actually select the pen in my inventory. Well. Your pen. You have what you wanted. Your precious pen. You seem annoyed, Mr. Holmes. I would even go so far as to say terribly worried. Why should you care, Mr. Shieldman? Let's talk about that poison. I am not talking about you in the grip of natural emotions found in ordinary people who are confronted by the inexplicable. But as for Mr. Holmes, you are embarrassed, aren't you? Are you hiding something? That is enough, Shieldman. You have kept your word. Therefore, I will keep mine. At this moment, the poison which so interests you isn't finished yet. Its maker is encountering great difficulties in attaining the desired results. What is the end result? Now, Mr. Holmes, the end result of any science, as Descartes once said, to become the master and owner of nature. Here we are talking about human nature, of course, and the creator's problem isn't so much the mixture as the durability of his creation. What do you mean? You see, this poison was made using rare, but very volatile, short-living compounds, which means that it is only possible to produce small quantities, which, most importantly, do not keep for a long time. Conceiving such a product in a laboratory especially built for the purpose could be achieved by any good chemist. But recopying this alchemy on another scale and keeping it ready at any moment, observing the particular conservation and storing conditions that a substance of this type requires, well, that would need... A genius. <laughs> I doubt if the creator of this mixture would be capable. And you would be, of course. Of course. Luckily, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Luck is cyclical. It always comes around again, sooner or later. As far as I am concerned, I have the feeling that the cycle is going to be... Very short. We didn't actually give him his... Holmes, it sounds to me as though this shieldman is implying that an escape attempt will be made. Yes, we must go and warn the director. Yeah, but we just, we just gave him his pen. Didn't we do this? <laughs> didn't we just set this up? Are these guys dead yet? From exposure to whatever it is was in the pen? 
All right, they seem fine. I don't know what's going on. We're not actually solving anything at all, by the way. We're just kind of walking around, clicking on things, and watching the story unfold. All right, what's going on here? It is out of the question that your bastard is named Patterson. Very well. You refuse to reveal the father to me. Well, then go and join him. I'm not stopping you. I... I can't. Hmm. Director, you will have to postpone this small family reunion. We believe that a serious scheme is afoot. We must act without delay. You're not thinking of... Yes. Shieldman's words leave no room for doubt. It seems that he is planning an escape attempt. We strongly advise you to search his cell. Do you really believe that he's hiding something? Because I must make an official report and have a legitimate reason for doing a search. Director, if this prison is still in operation, it is solely because of its reputation. Think of the consequences of an escape. It would be closed at once. And what post do you imagine would be offered to the person deemed responsible? You're right. No one will escape from Westgate under Patterson. I will order an immediate search of Mr. Shieldman's cell. Chief Warden James reporting. The search of prisoner Hans Shieldman's cell has been carried out. No suspicious items were found. Thank you, Chief James. I feel better now. Without wishing to offend you, Mr. Holmes, I am glad that you were mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, we've nothing more to do here. Shall we go, Holmes? There's just one more thing for me to see, Watson. What's that? Mr. Holmes, sorry to interrupt you, but Miss Jenny wishes to see you alone. She's waiting for you in her office. This, Watson. How did you know? Wait for me in the guards' room. I won't be long. And it's just allowed? <laughs> The what director an extraordinary just extraordinary gentleman that Sherlock Holmes is. You must have had lots of adventures with him. Oh yes, dozens. Thought he was infallible, but there wasn't anything out of the way in the rat killer's cell. Could he have been mistaken? I must admit. Warden Brighton, in my office immediately. That's an order. The director seems furious. Yes. It must be important for him to order Brighton to leave his post. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Ah, help! Ah, ah, ah. You... did you hear that? Yes, that's not normal. I've never heard Flinch shout like that. But why doesn't O'Sullivan sound the alarm? Follow me, Mackenzie. Let's go and have a look. I'll come with you. Don't. No, Dr. Watson, you're not allowed in. Wait for me here. Very well. Don't go down there. <laughs> There's poison hey, on the loose. But uh, the grill is blocked, Chief. We've been locked in. And that smoke, it's coming from below. Oh, Sullivan, can you hear us? Sully, are you alive? Answer us, Sully. What's going on? Can I help you? Sound the alarm in the guard room. That should unblock the door. Be quick. Oh, Sullivan might be in danger. Um, well, I kind of, we, we saw this coming, right? We saw this coming from a mile away. It doesn't work. It doesn't, what do you mean doesn't work? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. All right, well, those guys are completely screwed. All right, bye. I'm just going to walk out of here before the poison escapes from the basement. And, you know, and we all die. So the guy is away from the reception. 